What's going on everybody? Marlon Prasad here, your Central Florida Realtor, and today I think I've got the floor plan for you. I've got a two-story, four bedrooms, three bath, 3,000 square feet floor plan that you can actually build from dirt up, meaning you can pick your lot, pick this floor plan, and build it from scratch, and you, there's a lot of options that you can select, including an in-law suite over at the front. So which is a no, a very top feature requested by a lot of you guys. So it doesn't have its own front entrance, but as soon as you come in, there's actually an in-law suite. It's really nice. There's other options you can do as well too if you if you like this floor plan, but this floor plan has a lot of flexible options. So I'm gonna take you guys around, give you my thoughts, show you some of the options that they selected on this model home here. And if you're thinking of maybe purchasing this home and building it out, reach out to my team. We would love to help you guys configure this and see how we can help you build it. So. But anyways, we'll meet at the front, start our home tour. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe so you never miss any of these new construction homes. I'm basically gonna go to every single model home that's available in probably the entire state of Florida and eventually just put them up here for you guys. So if that's something you're looking for, then hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the Prasad Group YouTube channel as well too because my team is actually gonna be doing tours there as well too. So definitely do that. But without further ado, let's meet at the front and get the tour started. All right, so starting in the front here, this home has a nice, huge presence. You'll notice this has the three car garage option and this elevation does add the nice front porch that, and they also added the brickwork as well too. So brick pavers are gonna be standard in here. So very nice floor plan. The interiors you're gonna have nine feet, nine four uh, ceiling and eight feet interior doors. But yeah, you can build this floor plan all the way up to six bedrooms. So like I was saying, this is very flexible floor plan in my opinion. You can do so many options with it. The first option I'm gonna show you guys is actually right over here. So we're right at the front of the home. So as soon as you come in here, standard, this would actually be a study, right? Where you can put double doors and make this a study. They have this converted into an in-law suite. So you notice we have the eight feet interior door that comes right into a separate living room, right? Right? You guys remember the Freedom model that I did? Back in the day, this is very similar to that, just a two-story version of it. So nice size living room here. So this is perfect for maybe the grandparents or maybe the parents, or honestly, maybe you could just rent this out to a family member, you know? Rent this to your nephew and his girlfriend. We've got a full bedroom over here, right? And then we've got a, a closet over here that, let's see. Oh, okay, it's not the biggest of closets, but you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's about, I wanna say maybe five feet, but it's decent, right? It's decent enough. But yeah, this is definitely space for someone to basically live. We got a full bathroom over here, right? Raised vanity over here with the square sink, nice quartz countertops, nice tiling as well too. I love the herringbone pattern they've added here. Very nice. You could have went go with tile all the way to the top, but like I was saying, you can actually design this home from the, the ground up. So. There's other options if you didn't want to do this suite here. So I'll go over those as we go through, but, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this basically suite at the side of the home here. So really nice touch, right? So let me know what you guys would use this room for if you had a suite. Is it your parents? You're gonna stay here, grandparents. Maybe this can just be a guest suite for whenever guests come over, you can offer them in a whole entire suite. Or maybe you can rent this out. I mean, I don't know if it's allowed, but shh, but you might be able to make some income on this. But anyways, Standard, like I said, it would be a study. There would be a powder room, and then there would actually be a flex room over on this side. But because they have it converted, now you'll see a half bath over here, right? And I love how long this hallway is when you come in here. So now this door here should lead you to some storage. The Harry Potter room that'll take you all the way, let's see if you got some more space back there, right? So very nice. You could even make this into a nice little doggy room if you wanted to, but once again, the eight feet doors here, very nice. Now, let's go into the main attraction, right? So as soon as we come in here, we've got your living room over here. A lot of windows as well too. I do wanna point that out, we've got two windows over here, another two windows over there, so a lot of natural lighting over here. And then of course, we've got your dining and kitchen over here, so. Let me know what you guys think about this floor plan, right? I really like, I guess though, the flexibility of the options that you have over here. So, but yeah, this is a, a decent size. I, I wish the living room was a little bit bigger in my opinion, but it's still fairly uh, good in my opinion, more than adequate. The dining room, 
Uh, the dining table over here, you can definitely fit an even longer table here if you'd like so, right? I like the space. I love how they have all of this countertop options over here. So really good space for me to leave all my junk, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. But think about it, if you've got a lot of appliances that you need to leave out, you could probably, well, it'll probably look like junks, but you've got enough cabinet space here, right? To store all those appliances that you got. Maybe you got a juicer, maybe you've got a blender, maybe you got a, a roti maker. Uh, yeah, apparently there's some of those. Then you know that little dough thing that it, it rolls the dough for you? Yeah, but lovely kitchen. I love it. I know you guys don't really like the white and white, but it's not bad. I love the, you know, the uh, quartz, how they have the little gray in it, but I love the trim. Now, let me know what you guys think about the size of this kitchen island here. Is this too small? Is this just right? Honestly, it fits the space that we have here, but yeah, you can probably only fit about like three or two chairs there comfortably, right? This does have a nice cabinets over the kitchen there as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys feel about this open concept living here. I honestly think it's really good. Think about it, Thanksgiving time, you can definitely have a nice large table here, a large meal, everyone would be included. Maybe you're hosting a game night, right? You can all be basically playing games and entertaining while the music is playing in the background here, right? So I love it, I love it. So a couple of things I wanted to point out because I know it's crucial to some of you guys. One of it being, yeah, I've got to take you back in this back lanai here. So the cover of the night comes included as well too. Gotta love the screen enclosures as well too. Now also wanted to point out, there are conservation lots available in this neighborhood around $30,000, which is actually pretty affordable for conservation lots. I know at one point, conservation lots around Claremont here were going for like 100,000. And one of the other things as well too, there's very good amenities in this neighborhood here, right? We've got actually boat access, you've got a fishing pier, there's a swimming pool, there's a fitness center, there's walking trails. There's a, quite a bit of amenities. I'll leave a list of what those amenities are in the description below. But yeah, this is a very good option in my opinion. And also the other thing I wanted to point out as well too, now I know a lot of you guys love your formal dining space and you might be saying, Marlon, this might not cut it for me. Remember, standard, this floor plan actually comes with a open flex space. See where this bathroom is? This standard, this would actually have been an open flex space there that you could possibly use as your formal dining, right? And then if you wanted to you have a home office, you could have used the standard study that is in the front of the home as your home office. They just have this flex space and the study here converted into the suite option that you see here. But of course you can get it with standard with a, a home office study, a study room and a separate flex space here for formal dining. So those options are available on this floor plan as well. Just wanted to make sure I point those out because I honestly think that this floor plan is very flexible for almost anyone that's really looking. So but yeah, just wanted to point that out. I guess uh, back to the home tour. Now over to the corner here, we've got a drop zone over here that they've added cabinets and countertops. Nice touch, a window over here that kind of overlooks your yard here and your AC, that kind of ruins the view. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I would say you could probably possibly put maybe a nice garden out there, but that AC might have might have ruined that, that thought. Anyways, you've got your pantry over here. It's not a big walk-in pantry, but it's honestly pretty adequate. And then over here is actually the three-car garage. Let me just show you guys really quick. So yeah, this is what a garage space will look like over here, three car option. I wanted to point out, this here has the option to add this door here. So I know this is a popular, I know I know a lot of my Caribbean folks loves this. Think about this, you could just make this where your garden section can kind of be, right? Maybe you're fencing your yard. So this would be perfect in my opinion. So, hmm, it smells like nice fresh grass. They just cut the lawn and it's about to rain, but yeah, three car garage, let me just lock this door back for these guys. But yeah, three car garage, definitely make sure you get the floor epoxied. It changes the space, honestly. So let me know if you need a contact for that. But yeah, we've got your water heater over here. I don't know why they would put the water heater, I guess right next to the door here, but I guess cause, yeah, cause this is the two car garage option. They add here, the, the three car garages. Honestly, it's kind of like an afterthought. That's, that's why I really, really like floor plans that have the three car garage actually integrated into the floor plan. So that way it doesn't look like an afterthought that it like it kind of looks there. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the garage that kind of looks like that. But I still rather have the three car garage than not have it at all. So, but I would love to know what you guys' thoughts are. But um, that's pretty much the downstairs here. We're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and check out the bedrooms. All right, so we're gonna head upstairs now. 
Love the iron, not the iron, the wooden spindles we have here. Nice little staircase. And then as we come upstairs here, you'll notice we got a really good size upstairs loft. You can convert this into another bedroom if you wanted to. So if you wanted more bedrooms upstairs here, that's another option. Now over here, you'll notice we have the laundry room over here. Let me show you this. So really spacious laundry. We've added cabinets in here. I want to see we probably have, the, okay, we have linen storage over here. But yeah, once again, really good size laundry. You can maybe double this as a doggy room as well, right? We've got nice cabinets and sink over here. Now, something I do want to point out in the upstairs, you do get eight feet, eight inch ceilings here, and you do get the lower doors, right? So, but now standard, you would actually have two bedrooms over here in this corner. However, there's an option like they have it shown here where you can convert this bedroom into a extended bedroom. They call it an extended third bedroom in a sense. So it makes the bedroom space here a little more spacious. Then it adds this huge walk-in closet here, right? For a secondary bedroom, honestly, that's a really good size closet. So maybe you've got a teenager or, you know, someone with a lot of clothes, right? That would be the perfect, perfect option for them. However, if you didn't want to do that, then you can just go with the standard option, which basically gives you a fourth bedroom on this side. Um, there is another bedroom over here as well. And of course, a full bathroom over here. Now, I do love this tile that they've done here. It has a nice little texture to it. It's like a, a velvety jean texture. Very nice, I would say. But yeah, another bedroom over here. And I love this. Is this an easel? Is that what they call it? An art easel? I love this. This is very clever in my opinion. I might actually want to do something like this in my office studio. But got a good amount of natural lighting in this bedroom as well too. I see three windows here. And I've also noticed that we've got a walk-in closet here with pretty good space. So one thing I will say about this builder, yeah, this, the closet sizes are definitely good. Like I said, they have very good taste of luxury in the space. We've got a linen storage over here. This would actually be standard. This would be an entrance to that fourth bedroom I was telling you about, but they have it converted right now where they eliminated that fourth bedroom and basically added that uh, extension to that bedroom over there. So, but now that's your loft that you could convert to another bedroom as well. But now let's go into your primary suite. And there we have it. Honestly, you can tell a lot of good natural lighting here as well. This builder does a really good job with the natural lighting, with the windows and the storage of the closet space. So let me know what you guys think. So far, I showed you guys a single story floor plan, which is around 2000 square feet, right? And then now this one is about 3000 square feet, similar specs. So let me know what you guys think about this here. But yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys another shot here of this master. Very good space for you to do a lot of options. Let me know how you would reconfigure your, your primary here. And then through here is your primary bathroom. So I love the frameless glass door enclosure. I really like this tile and the texture that they've added here. This is really nice. It's, it's very good, honestly. Let me know what you guys think about this tile. I love the black and white, very good. And of course, we've got your raised vanity over here. You guys probably don't realize it, but you probably have a standard size vanity where it's lower like this, and you probably don't realize it, but you're probably doing a lot of bending down, especially when you're brushing your teeth. With the raised vanity, it's a lot higher, right? So I don't know, it's a little bit easier for you to do stuff. So that's some builders, they charge you an upgrade for that. Some builders, it's included. But I highly recommend it, honestly. It just saves, I guess, your back. But your water closet over here, linen closet here and i've got a surprise for you guys what i'm about to walk into right now at first i kid you not i thought i walked into a bedroom but this is actually <laughs> this is actually your primary closet yes this is your primary closet 
Look at the size of this thing. This is another bedroom. Honestly, I honest even in luxury homes that I've toured, I have not really seen a closet this big. This look at this. This is an actual primary closet. Like you could do so much here. I could do a nice little round table here, right? Maybe do California design around the whole entire thing, but there's so many options that you could do in this closet. Tell me, ladies, tell me this is not your dream closet. I mean, I'm a dude, but I would love a closet like this, to be honest with you. I would not mind getting dressed over here. Let me know what you guys think. I would definitely sacrifice the size of the shower for a closet like that. Let me know what you guys think. But anyways, I think that's actually it for this house and this tour. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Let me know how you would actually configure a floor plan like this. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get some more information about this property. Of course, if you are interested, definitely reach out to my team and I. We would love to help you guys basically build this floor plan out to see exactly what it would cost you with the upgrades and options that you would like. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely reach out to us. Contact information should be down below. But once again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace. I'm going to take y'all where the lake is so you show where you get lake access. It's separate from the neighborhood, but if you have a boat, right, you can come out here and gain access to the lake. And because this is Claremont chain of lakes, you get access to over 21 miles of lakes that all interchain and connect to each other. So the water sport activity life is definitely present over here in Claremont. One of the things that I love about Claremont compared to some of the other major cities like Winter Garden and stuff, we have more lakes, more miles of lakes, but right here, you can launch your boat. Think about it, guys. Think You can bring out your jet skis or your boat. You could even go fishing out here as well, too. So you guys know I like to go out on these piers, right? So I'm going to take you guys with me. I love this. But yeah. I should have came out here during the hurricane to see how much this would have was filled but it wasn't that bad over here in claremont so but i want to say this probably would have filled up but here you here it is guys this will be part of your hoa right the it's actually about 130 bucks a month you get the basketball court i guess there's basketball court there's a tennis court there's a little pool there's used to be a golf course community however there is no more golf course um but yeah this has a lot of amenities basically included here so Definitely want to know what you guys think. But yeah, it was very nice out here. You could definitely come out here and do some fishing or, ooh, this is kind of scary over here. But yeah, or you can come out here and launch your boat, right? You can you can swim here if you want, but um, I mean, I'm, I'm from Guyana and we've had worse than this, but uh, yeah, I guess I'm American now, and uh, yeah, I'm not going swimming in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Let me know. If, would you guys go swimming in here? Yeah, that's not for me. The water looks like uh, like black tea, but uh, yeah, I'm a pass. I'm a stick to the beach. I'm a beach guy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I'm always at the beach whenever I can be, but really good amenities in this neighborhood though, right? Like I said, clubhouse, community pool. They got a park and a playground. It used to be a, a golf cart community, all right? They got basketball court, tennis court, and also they got pickleball. I don't know what pickleball is, but they've got it, right? So, but anyways, just figured I would show you guys the lake access area over here. But uh, yep, thank you guys, I guess, for watching this video. Either We're either going back to the home tour or this is, you know, this is probably the end of the video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.